Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this series, we are going through most things on how to make a game like Jowric. So, yeah, we can already begin. So, first of all, you need to go to Roblox.com and then go to Create. And to start off with this series, you need to have Roblox Studio. If you don't have Roblox Studio, you ain't going anywhere. So, now we're gonna make a game. Let's get a base plate. Let's create it. And now, I'm gonna name it Tutorial Jailbreak. There we go, save. Now, let's load it into Studio. So yeah, we're almost here. Today we are covering a prison, a prison escape route, and the teams. So now, here we go, we are in studio. Pretty cool. First of all, we're gonna start off with building our prison. I'm gonna make a really basic one, just for the tutorial. Now, suggest you do like this so you can do like this okay make sure to get an npc so you can scale as you can see yeah it should be good now duplicate this four times and rotate it perfectly no not that one this one so now if you've done that then we're gonna make a really basic tower. Oh, by the way, before you make those towers, go into workspace, click the plus, and type in Connor. Connor wedge part. So you get this weird little part, and you can like duplicate it four times. So you have like a tri, well, not a triangle, like a roof, which is really good. Let's uh, speed this up a little. Present for now we're gonna modify and give the details later now what I suggest you to do for escape route you have this part you choose one random part and scale it down so like halfway then duplicate the other one and paste it over here and now you have like a little gap but that's not the case you need to do like this now I'm gonna duplicate it again I'm gonna fit it right through now, let's call this one Escape Route Part. Great. That's very good already. Now, if we wanted to make it so you can go through it, if you click it, click on your part, insert a click detector, then insert a script, and type exactly what I'm going to type. Now, if you want to test it, make sure you have click on workspace and click anchor. There we go. Now you can just insert a spawn location from model, then spawn location, then put it in the middle. I suggest. And now click play. And now we can test out what we've made. And you, may, you may need to like search where that part is because we didn't give the color. I think it's right over here. Yep. And if you click it, you can go through it. And after two seconds, it's gonna close again. Very cool. That is already a working escape route. Now, we're going to the next thing. And the next thing is going to be the teams. Let's do this. Let's do the teams. To start off, close workspace. 
go to the team section. I see we don't have any teams. That's already fine, so we can always modify that. Click on surface, go to teams, and insert it. There we go. Now you got your teams. Now you can frequently use for me. You can click team and duplicate it three times. That was not what I wanted. Now we can do for this criminal. And we can make it a really rare color because it's criminals. We're gonna make a police team. We're gonna make it like really blue. And we have a prisoner team. And this one we're gonna make orange. Is this deep orange? I don't know. Yeah, this is deep orange. Wait. Now, what you can do, you can duplicate the spawn locations. And you can name this one police. And you can name this one criminal. And this one prisoners. And for prisoners, you go down in the properties and you see allow team change on touch. Yes, enable it. Click neutral off. Team color was orange. This one for us. Great. Now do this the same for every spawn location. Great, we've done that. But now we're gonna spawn on a neutral team. That's not what we wanted. Close workspace, go to teams, and click prisoner. And click auto assignable on. But on police and criminals, turn it off. There we go. And now we can anchor. Okay, everyone, everything's anchored. We can now play the game. Let's see if this is going to work. Look, now we're on the prisoner team, now we're on the police team, and now we're on the criminal team. This is really handy. That's what we've done. So the teams are done for now. But now we want it so if you escape the prison, you're gonna be on the criminal team. To do that, insert a part and insert an immediate script and type what I'm gonna type. So I managed to type the script a little bit wrong. It's fine. Now you have to pause the video and type the script over because this one's gonna work probably. Now copy these three lines. Control C. Enter. Gotta get it a little bit properly and paste it in. But now, as you can see, if we're on the police team, we want it to stay we're on the police team. If it's going to be to police, then we're gonna set it so you're still the police. Great. Now, we can actually get this. Where's our part? It's over here. Now you can do this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. 0.5, so you can see where the part is if you're gonna escape. You can always set it to invisible. This is just for the testing. Now, great. We can test it. Play. Right, we're now on the prisoner team. We can see our part, we can click, we go through, we touch it, and I forgot to turn the can collide off. That's fine, we'll do it in a few seconds. As you can see, we're on the criminal team. Now we can do this. If we are going to be on the police team, we probably stay on the police team. Yeah, see, we're still on the police team. That is how easy these two things are to make and let, let's turn the kind of light off and let's try it again with an invisible part to see how it's gonna work a jailbreak so yeah let's wait for studio to load in tutorial jailbreak great now this is our little prison we can click on this and we escape the prison and we're on the criminal team now if we go back real quick and we go to the police team and we click on this and we go through it as you can see we can actually click on the part here's the part you see we're still on the police team if you click f9 no errors this is the basics of how to make jailbreak 
next part we'll be covering a lot more and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this is part one there's a lot gonna come I hope you enjoyed please stay tuned for part two and I will see you in the next video and we'll see what it's gonna be bye guys